Hey there, Unsolved Mysteries fans. Weird Legacy back at you with another video. So the case that I want to do today is Charles Horvath, and uh, I'll give you the details of the case and my thoughts on the whole thing. So here we go. Charles Horvath was born on August 21st, 1968, in Concorn, Ontario, Canada. He was a resident of England who planned to work and hitchhike across Canada to visit his father, Max A.K. Horvath Sr., and his godfather in Ontario, both of whom are now deceased. Um, on May 11, 1989, Charles sent what was to be his final letter home from War Stationer's Kelowna to his mother in Yorkshire, England, by fax, uh, re-meeting up with his, with, mo with his mother and stepfather, Stuart, for his 21st birthday and his mother's 40th birthday. When Charles failed to contact his mother to finalize their arrangements, Denise Horvath Allen reported him officially missing on August 10, 1989, and to the Kelowna Detachment RCMP then mounted a search for him across the world, planning, placing advertisements in local and provincial newspapers prior to her first trek across Canada, accompanied by her husband, Stuart Allen, joined later by uh, Charles's grandparents. Um, the Zebra family contacted Denise Horvath Allen uh, via Kelowna detachment of the RCMP after recognizing his name in the local advertisement, stating that they had met Charles in the late spring and he, while he was in Kelowna, British Columbia, Canada, and allowed him to temporarily stay at their family home. They last saw Charles in the Live Wire nightclub in August of 1989. Charles registered at the Gospel Mission and stayed at the Sherwoods and the Vernon Gordon family homes. In May of 1989, he registered in Tiny Tent Town on Lakeshore Road in Kelowna, where Gordy Hap helped Charles put up his tent which had been given to him by the Lighthouse Outreach Charity, Job Mart, and other student employment agencies, uh, which were frequented by Charles and other residents of Tinytown, Eugene Borden, Graham Lettingham, and Chad Duncan in search of work. When Charles disappeared, his tent, sleeping bag, and all his possessions, including his clothes, personal belongings, ID, and family photographs were left behind in Tinytown. These personal items were used by others at Tiny Tent Town. The 1989 manager, Phil Fett, Fleck uh, told Denise Horvath Allen that Charles' belongings had been thrown away except for a rosary, Bible, and leather strap from Charles's boot. Uh, the Kelowna detachment of the RCMP later received his clothing and other belongings from Kevin Trent Edgin uh, and former managerius Sheila Nihas, I believe that's how you say it. Uh, in March 1992, Denise Horvath Allen, on her second trip to Canada from England, in search of Charles, received an anonymous letter delivered to the Pandozi Inn by Cap. The anon anonymous note claimed that Charles had been knocked out by two men at Tiny Tent Town and died. His body was then dumped in Okangana Lake. Uh, local Kiwana divers, an international sea search from Vancouver, aided with a sub uh, cerebral camera costing $1,000 per day. An ISS volunteer crew searched the area around the floating bridge when a second anonymous note was uh, received, stating that they were searching on the wrong side of the bridge. On the fifth day, Kona RCMP divers officially joined the underwater search, and on the sixth day, April or Friday, April 3rd, at 10.14 a.m., International Sea Search located human remains and telephoned the, lake, uh, and telephoned the Kona RCMP, uh, who arrived at the scene at 10.17 a.m. Uh, the Kelowna RCMP police divers went into Okanga Lake and bagged the body and brought it to surface around noon. The following Monday, the male remains were taken to Vancouver, British Columbia, uh, where they were discovered not to be the remains of Charles Horvath. Whether the witness testimony was mistaken or if Charles' body is still in the lake is unknown. Uh, so suspects, uh, there are no unknown, or there are no known suspects. An anonymous note claimed that two unidentified men who had attacked Charles at Tiny Tent Town dumped his corpse in Okanga Lake. However, it was discovered that the remains found were not Charles Horvath remains. The police are not taking these notes as reliable. Which, you know, is what I already said there, but, uh, yeah. So, you know, my thoughts on the case, really. Um, I remember watching the segment a little, a while back, back when, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff was on was on YouTube, and I remember saying that they said something about like maybe that Charles was trying to get away from, um, you know, his mother and disappear and just start over. Um, I don't see that. Uh, 
uh, from what I could tell, from what uh, Denise was saying and stuff like that, that Charles was very close with her, and that he, you know he wouldn't just abandon his family without. Uh, you know that he wouldn't just abandon his family. He'd call them first, or he'd let them know where he was going, and he wouldn't he wouldn't just desert his mother because apparently uh, they had a very uh, close relationship. Um, so you know my thoughts on it. I believe there's foul play involved. I don't believe he just he disappeared or something. He very well could have. Uh, he could he could have very well been beaten up somehow, or maybe he fell and hit his head on something and you know, lost his memory. I've I've heard of cases like that before. So it could have very well been either of those easy, um either of those things. Um I know his mother did uh do some more searching for him, but I I think she um has her health was declining a lot. I I know she's still alive, um, but I know her health has declined a lot so she I don't think she's able to search for him anymore, but I believe she's still somewhat uh, searching, I believe, somehow. Uh, probably through online tips or something, I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a, it's a sad case, and, uh, you know, hopefully someday uh, it'll be solved, I don't know, but I, I, I do believe there was foul play involved, or, or an accident happened and he lost his memory, and that's, that's why he, uh, he was never found. So, you know, that's just pretty much my thoughts on the case. Uh, if you like this video, give a like, subscribe, comment in the comment section. Um, let me know your thoughts on the case. And, uh, you know, there'll definitely be more. I just gotta figure out, uh, you know, what else that I wanna do, and uh, then I'll do it. So that's pretty much all I gotta say for this video right now, and I'll see you in the next one. We're right out.